What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. Just a little short one for you all today as I've just got back from a three-day festival and I'm feeling pretty worse for wear. <laughs> all self-inflicted, of course. But that's not going to stop me from making content for all of you out there, so don't you worry about that. So I saw this article literally a few days ago and I thought it was so cool that I couldn't resist doing an episode on it. It's kind of like a new research episode, but I've got to put the disclaimer out there, guys, that this work has not been published yet. This means that it's not gone through the rigorous peer review process that all of us scientists have to go through when we're trying to publish one of our scientific papers, which is an absolute ball ache, by the way, guys, which is why my Nershark paper is taking so, so long to be published because it's going through this peer review process very, very slowly. <laughs> It's coming guys, it's coming, slowly. So I'll ask you all from the start to take this research that I'm gonna to talk to you about today with a pinch of salt because until it goes through that process, it's not a surefire thing. Regardless, I still think it's super interesting and I think you guys might really like this one. So this new research is basically suggesting that great white sharks might be able to change the color of their skin, perhaps to camouflage themselves from prey. I think the idea of this is amazing and if they can prove it for real, it would be some unbelievable research and would completely change the way we view predatory sharks like great whites. So the experiments were taking place off South Africa and the researchers were dragging a seal decoy behind a boat to try and entice the sharks to leap out of the water. They were trying to get them to slightly breach out the water near this cool little color chart board, which has a range of black, gray, and white sections. And when they did breach, they photographed the sharks, repeating that experiment throughout the day. Then they were able to look at the photos later, and after using some software to correct for variables such as weather and light, they saw that one of the sharks was actually appearing much lighter at one point in the day, and then significantly darker at a later point in the day. While they were out there, they also took a skin biopsy from one of the sharks and quickly hurried back to the lab to do some more experiments on it. Back at the lab, they began treating that skin tissue sample with some hormones that naturally occur within sharks, namely adrenaline and then melanocyte stimulating hormone, aka MSH. Using a time-lapse camera and a microscope, the researchers could see that the great white's melanocytes, which are skin cells that contain pigments, started to contract and turn lighter when they were doused in adrenaline. And then when they were doused with MSH, the same cells dispersed and turned the pigmentation a much darker color. If this is correct, then it would mean great whites could actively change their skin color depending on different stimuli from their environment. I think the potential for this research is absolutely crazy and it would completely change how we think about great whites and their ambush hunting strategy. A lot of previous research on white sharks has mainly focused on their power, speed, and size, but I think what's really cool about this research is that it's looking at great whites at a microscopic level. Now, I think at this point, it's important to point out that this is very, very different from counter shading. We've spoken before about counter shading here on sharp bites, which is a pretty well-known camouflage strategy for marine predators. It's where the top half of the predator is a much darker color, which makes it hard to see them from above as they blend in with that dark water below. And then their bottom half is a much lighter color, which means it's harder to see them from below as they blend in with that light surface water. The scientists focusing on this research are heading out every single day to try and collect more data on this because at the moment, they can't really draw conclusions from the really small data set they're working with. So currently we can't really say this is occurring due to hormonal changes and the current leading hypothesis hypothesis is that the sharks are actually getting suntan. Yep, I know that sounds a little bit strange, but there's actually some research that backs this up. Scientists had been noticing some changes in the skin color of sharks, but this was happening over days and not hours. Some research published back in 1996 showed that when captive scalloped hammerheads were corralled into shallower waters, their skin turned darker than scalloped hammerheads that were kept in deeper waters. So the shark's skin was literally getting darkened by the sun. They were getting suntanned. <laughs> Don't forget your factor 50, boys. God, I'm so pale. <laughs> so there's a few people out there who are still a little bit unsure about this new finding, but still think it's possible. George Probst, an underwater photographer who has spent countless hours in the water with great white sharks in Guadalupe in Mexico, says he hasn't really noticed any changes in the skin color of the sharks that he's photographed. He spent so much time in the water with the sharks and he's become really good at recognizing certain individuals. And he has a ton of photos to be able to compare their skin colors over time. Even though he hasn't noticed any changes in their skin color, he said he wouldn't be surprised if it was possible for them to do it because of how good they are at sneaking up on him while he's on his dives. Side note guys, you should definitely go and follow George on Twitter. He's got some really, really cool photos of white sharks from Guadalupe. You should definitely check them out. I think anecdotally around the world, there are a few shark scientists who are chiming in on this saying that they've noticed some skin color changes in white sharks over time and they're pretty excited about this research. Also, considering that we know there are loads of fish species that can change their color tones, it wouldn't be impossible for a large predatory fish like a white shark to be able to do it too. We also know that certain shark species definitely do change their coloration and patterning over time. For example, zebra sharks completely change with age from that classic zebra striped pattern when they're juveniles 
to being spotty when they're adults. But here's the thing, guys. The data that I've been talking to you about today was only collected from three individual sharks. So we're talking about a sample size here of three, which is extraordinarily low. When we're doing research, generally we want a minimum sample size of at least 30 individuals, and even that's still pretty low to be able to do statistics on it. Ideally, the bigger sample size, the better in situations like this. So we really do have to take these new findings with a pinch of salt. I actually think this research might even be featuring on Shark Fest on National Geographic under the title Camo Shark. So if you're gonna be watching Shark Fest, make sure you keep an eye out for that program if you want to learn a little bit more about it. So what do you make of these findings? Do you reckon great white sharks can actually change the coloration of their skin? It'd be pretty wild if they could do. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.